everyone and welcome back to the show. We hope you all enjoyed your extended Memorial Day weekend. Alongside Sydney Agnello, I'm Elise Scholes, and thanks for joining us, Sid. Thanks, Elise. This episode is for the week of May 27th through May 31st, and with that, it also brings our last episode of this school year. So a very big shout out to all the student crew members, student producers, KHS staff, and all who've lent time for segments. Thanks for a nice year. <laughs> also this week, we wrap up the month of May, and next week, welcome in the month of June, capping our last month of the school year. June is an extremely busy time of the school year at KHS. The following are just some of the event highlights and reminders that will be taking place in June. Monday, June 3rd is the senior trip to Dorney Park. Thursday, June 6th is our KHS junior and senior prom. Later in the month, the KHS Film Festival is Tuesday, June 11th. Senior Awards Night is Wednesday, June 12th. Finals Week starts Monday, June 16th. And the Senior Baccalaureate is Wednesday, June 19th. And of course, it all accumulates with the most rewarding of all. Seniors graduate and we celebrate the Class of 2019 Commencement Ceremonies Thursday, June 20th. And with that, we have a busy show this week. Highlighted by another When I Was 17 video segment with history teacher Mr. Arroyo. He will share with us a few memories from when he was 17. As mentioned last week, the month of May is National Mental Health Awareness Month. Up next, we share a video that highlights several facts about teen mental health awareness. We will be right back after this video. Again, during the month of May, the National Alliance of Mental Health Illness and the rest of the country are raising awareness of mental health. As the video indicates, teenagers are growing through an ever-evolving technological world and perhaps having an effect regarding mental health. Each year, we fight for stigma, provide support, educate the public, and advocate for policies that support people with mental illness and their families. For more information, check out NAMI.org, and if you or someone you know is struggling with issues, there are always resources here at KHS that can help provide support. Up next are a few school news and informational announcements about things happening at KHS. Congratulations is extended to Student of the Week, Emma Klein. Awesome job, Emma, and congrats on your recent success in spring track. We now turn our attention to another segment from When I Was 17 video series with history teacher Mr. Arroyo. He attended high school nearby, graduating with honors from Passaic County Technical Institute of Haldon, New Jersey. And after high school, he attended Bucknell University. Let's find out more as producers Alex Carbone and Olivia Fiusa provide this video segment. We will be right back. My name is Matt Arroyo. I attended Passaic County Technical Institute in Wayne, New Jersey. Academically, I was a good student. I went to a, a large group four high school. I graduated third in my class. I uh, was the highest ranked male in my senior class. But unfortunately, I didn't finish in the top one or two. My favorite subject in high school was chemistry. I was, I was always pretty good at chemistry with uh, the math and I was always interested in uh, chemical reactions and science. I played basketball, football, and for two years I also wrestled. In our sociology class, we had to actually practice a proposal and get married through a marriage project. So that was kind of awkward having to propose in front of a whole class. I did get in trouble with one teacher when I was in high school for uh, just telling her I was bored in class. I looked slightly different back in high school. I was either deciding to grow my hair out, uh, shave my head, and tried to stay up to trend with fashion, whatever was stylish at the time I wore. I listened to rap, R&B, and hip hop, with my favorite artist being the Notorious B.I.J. Sometimes your words just hypnotize me. 
favorite thing to do with friends was either play sports or you know go to Willowbrook Mall. My first job, I worked at a flower shop in the winters, making helping to make bases for grave blankets. Favorite place to go to eat at that point in time? I guess we spent a lot of time at Park West Diner on Route 46. If we always uh, went out at night, I always got breakfast for dinner. I knew I was going to Bucknell during uh, December 1997. It was one of the first schools that was recruiting me through handwritten letters. I went on an official visit and really liked it and decided to go in January. Uh, the recruitment process for schools such as Bucknell, Lehigh, Yale, Columbia, Harvard was all an interesting process. It was nice being catered to during the recruitment process before you actually went to a school and realized that things would be greatly different. 1998 was a big transition year, especially with all the new technology coming out and the rise of the internet. Uh, best memory from high school was just uh, having a great senior year, getting recruited for college uh, football, having a nice, uh, easy you know, spring semester to wrap up my high school career. Thanks again, Alex, Olivia, and Mr. Arroyo for providing time for this segment. Moving things along. Okay, up next are a few school activity, event, and club announcements. Please listen carefully. Hey, KHS Student Council is looking for <laughs> student leaders for the 2019-2020 school year. KHS Student Council has openings for Student Council Executive Board position for the 2019-2020 school year. Only rising juniors and seniors are eligible for Executive Board President and Board of Ed Rep positions. All other positions are available for the rising sophomores, juniors, and seniors. They are vice president, recording secretary, corresponding secretary, treasurer, and historian. If you are interested, grab a form by the old cafeteria and complete all details. Everything is due Thursday, May 30th by 2.30 p.m. in Mrs. Sapio's mailbox and the Student Council Google Classroom. Again, all info can be found on the hard packets located by the Student Council Corner next to the Old Calf. Elections will take place Tuesday, June 4th during lunch outside the cafeteria and Old Gym. Okay, as mentioned at the top of the show, next week is Prom Week here at KHS. And producer Carly Debrino provides this prom edition cam on the street. We will be right back after this. Not from prison. Why not? I don't know. It's not my drip. What is the best song to slow dance to at prom? Ed Sheeran. I'm not sure if I can answer this question accurately. Freaks by Timmy Trumpet. Probably Freaks or um, Party Till We Die. Party Till We Die! But I have seen people slow dance to fast songs, and that's definitely great people watching. Ed Sheeran, Tom. Bruno Mars, Just the Way You Are. <laughs> Tough one. Probably something by Boyz II Men. That is a really hard question. And so anything country that's slow, I'm good. Bow tie or skinny tie? Bow tie. Skinny tie. Bow tie. Bow tie. If you could go to prom with any celebrity, who would it be and why? Um, Selena Gomez, cause, uh, cause she's hot. I would go to prom with Liam Hemsworth. Tom Brady. Why? He's the man. Uh, probably Kendall Jenner, cause she's hot. <laughs> Liam Hemsworth. Why? He's hot. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, Ryan Reynolds, because he's hot and funny. I would probably go to prom with one of the celebrities that are actually willing to take other people to prom. Does Mr. Capra count? Yeah, sure. Mr. Capra. My wife. Why? She won't let me go with anybody else. Do you match your date? Yeah. Yeah. Always. No doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Not entirely, but yeah. Yes. How long is it going to take you to get ready for prom? Probably like 20 minutes. Five, ten minutes. Uh, probably like an hour and a half or an hour. 
Give me a few hours. <laughs> Two hours. Um, three hours. Probably a solid 15 minutes, maybe 20 if I want to put a few curls in my hair. Six minutes. Spell corsage. C O R S A G. You can't spell it? I don't think anyone can. Can you try? C O R S A G E. C O R S A G E. C O U. No, I spelled the wrong one. R. Really? C O R. I, I really don't know how to spell. That's okay. C O U R S A G E. I have no idea. I had to Google it when I put it onto the prom sheets. Okay. C O R S A G E. How do you get kids on the dance floor? Hype them up. You play Sean Kingston. Definitely. Definitely will get them on the dance floor. You play some good music. Get everyone to make a huge circle, push some kids in the middle, and everyone just starts dancing. Um, sometimes people get on the dance floor because the songs are great. Sometimes they get on the dance floor because their friends dragged them out there and now they're trying to hide and elope. Um, but music selection definitely, I think, depending upon the DJ or if it was a band, would help that out. Probably play good music. Drag them out there. In Kinalan, they do it themselves. No need. What food do you want to be on the menu? Hot wings. Probably, uh, penne vodka. Pasta. Penny vodka. So I love food. Like that's like, come on, that's why we go to parties. You want just a good meal where you feel full, you don't feel disgusting afterwards. A little prime rib, some mashed potatoes, lobster, seafood. Sushi. Expensive dress or expensive shoes? Expensive shoes. Expensive shoes. Expensive shoes. Comfortable shoes and whatever fits you right. Definitely a dress. Nobody wants to see my toes. Did you put your prom dress in the Facebook group chat? Yes. I did. Yes. How many dresses did you try on? Like five. 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 Junior year I tried on one dress and I was out of the mall in a matter of 20 minutes. Oh God, probably about 50 because I was so tall that nothing fit me. Sid, are you excited for prom? Yeah, I can't wait. Prom is always fun. Our next announcement is an early save the date reminder. The KHS Film Festival will be held Tuesday, June 11th in the KHS Auditorium. Both Sid and I made films so you all better be there. Films will begin promptly at 7 p.m., so show up at 6.30. Again, Film Fest starts playing at 7 p.m. Admi admission is only $5. Prizes and awards will be presented in several categories, plus a couple live voting categories for Best Actress, Actor, and Film of the Night. Plus, all who attend have a chance to walk away with a prize winner with a couple of fundraising raffle giveaways. Again, the KHS Film Festival is Tuesday, June 11th. Hey Elise, speaking of prizes, the Colt Chronicle is doing a great prize giveaway. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, who doesn't want a chance to win a prize? Okay Elise, here is what you and everyone can do to become prize eligible. Fill out the Colt Chronicle's reader survey and you'll be entered for, to win a prize from the newspaper staff. You can find the survey at the Chronicle Reader in this week's Colt Chronicle Roundup email in your inbox. One last time, the Senior Baccalaureate will be held Wednesday, June 19th, 7 p.m. in the KHS Auditorium. Seniors, your participation is needed and encouraged. Help create one of your final gatherings together as the class of 2019. Seniors, be sure to come out to this fabulous end of the year event that celebrates the class of 2019. Also, seniors, your then and now photos are needed for the video. Please email your photos. If you have any questions about the baccalaureate or you would like to assist, please see Ms. Ellington in room 205. Up next are a few sports announcements. In recent spring sports news, 
Congrats is extended to the KHS girls track team for winning the North One Group One sectional championship. Nice job is extended to Coach Chegwin and Jacobs and the girls. Also, nice job is extended to the boys track team as many team members also placed at sectionals. Full track results for both the girls and boys team, including all the event medalists, can be found at KHS underscore sports Twitter account. Nice job goes out to the Kinelon baseball team for winning the conference championship and good luck in the state sectional semifinals. Softball recently ended their season in the state tournament thanks to all of the seniors and good luck to the team next year. Also, congrats goes out to the junior Brooke Jacko on recently earning her 100th career hit. Nice job, Brooke. Recently, the boys and girls lacrosse teams concluded their seasons. Both teams had strong campaigns this year and advanced well into their respective state tournaments. Thanks to all the seniors and good luck to returning players next year. Good luck to our golf team members that are competing in the state tournament. And a big shout out is extended to Marina Hussein who is competing in the state tournament. Marina was recently ranked on top 30 player in the state. Lastly, congrats to the recognized and awarded KHS scholar ath athletes Peter Davin, Catherine Brown, and Dante Kalkova. If you're registered for the school physical for the fall 2019 athletic season with Nurse Smith, physicals will be held Wednesday, June 5th. For all things KHS sports scores and updates, continue to follow KHS Athletics on Twitter at KHS underscore sports. Stay updated on all things KHS by visiting the school and district websites. Or by following and subscribing to the KHS social media accounts. And for feature stories, news and segments, be sure to check out our coltchronicles.org or the KHS YouTube channel. Our director today was Kyle Shaper. Also, this is Kyle's last show ever. Nice job, Kyle. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> our technical director was Ben Wahlberg. Our video producer was Dan Curran. Our audio operator was Sophia Labanca and Jesse Locke. Our script supervisor was Justine Gabriel. Congratulations is extended to the KHS class of 2019. All the best and good luck. So that's it for this year. Have a fantastic finish to the school year. Wishing everyone a relaxing and safe summer. We return in a couple of months ready for what 2020 brings. Until then, continue to work hard, be kind, peace, wait, oh God. Peace everyone, hags. Wait, let me, just let me go that way.